Kansas State in their silver pants, white jerseys, trim ways to go before they're filled up. Party, party. Wide to the right yeah. side now. Go. Here is the snap, and the starting quarterback is Garber. Garber flips it out to Gallon, who falls down short of the line of scrimmage at the 18-yard line. Gallon got the pass, trying to get around Favelle, and fell down at the 18, so it's a pass completion. Brown, Beekert, and Johnson, those are the linebackers. Figures Hudson, Davis, and Bradford in the secondary. The snap, the handoff, and Gallon gets to the 19, to the 20, and that's it. Woolfork is slicing in from behind to make the tackle. Defensive left side, and he just moved down the line of scrimmage. Wide right goes both receivers, Coleman and Benton. Here, and Garber's going back. Here's the pressure. Passes incomplete at the 20-yard line as he's dumped by Earth Silicon. And... Uh, Sort of take it for granted with Berger, but now Berger has, has can rely on starting around the 20 yard line. Garber now will back up in a shotgun on first down. Buffs look that over from the 20 yard line. Garber's got it looking downfield. Passes and it's intercepted. And Renfro takes it inside the 10 to the 6 yard line. Gar Christian Ford in front of their faces <laughs> like they could care less. And uh, A.J. Smith into the backfield, replacing Eric Gallon. And Garber's going to give it to him, and he comes up the middle and gets a yard to the 21 as Leonard Renfro is there to hit him as he got to the line of scrimmage. Well, he's carried the ball only five times for 17 yards. Renfro did on that play. Squeeze down towards the center and sort of grab whoever's in the way. Sometimes it's three or four people. Second down, nine to go. Fake to Smith. Bootleg right. Renfro's after Garber, and he throws it away. Almost intercepted by Wolfork. Brian Reese, the tight end, was there. The air would have been a touchdown by Ronnie. Garber had him. Mitch running comes wide to the left side. To the right goes Benton, and Coleman is inside of running. One set back. Back goes Garber. Back pedaling. He throws on the run. It's caught at the 20-yard line, and down at the 20-yard line. Andre Coleman made the catch. Greg and a return of seven yards to the 20-yard line, and that's where K-State will put it in play with 5.24 left. Kickoff, and coverage on the network starts at 12.35. Coleman and running the right. Benton is left. And Garber puts it in the belly of the third different running back that they've used. This is Leon Edwards, and Edwards is, tell you what, this Buffalo defense today is dominated. Wide left comes Coleman and running, and to the right is Benton. Second down, 12 yards to go. Garber checks off at the line of scrimmage, changes the play. He's got the ball. Going back, and his hit as he throws, or is it a fumble? Yes! Recovered by Johnson. Ted Johnson falls on. Berger, four times today, has put it out of the end zone. Snyder, but they're suffering this year. They were 7-4 and four in 91. First down and 10 at the 20-yard line. Garber fades back. He's got a lot of time. Nobody is open. The ball is in the air and a big scramble for it. That looked like rugby. <laughs> Incomplete. Davis and Bradford converged on Reese. It looked like the tip. Second down and 10 yards to go. Garber goes under center. The center is our favorite player, Quentin New Year. Nickname is Happy. Here's Garber. He has nowhere to go. He looked around and saw pressure coming from the left side and 10-yard line. Back in at the running back. Isn't that his nickname? 12 at the 18-yard line. Three receivers out. Garber changes the play at the line of scrimmage. Gallon is back in at the running back. And back goes Garber. Here's the pressure. Garber delivers. Incomplete at the 20-yard line, just as he's hit. Our Kansas State and Thomas Randolph almost got the ball. Folsom, start hitting me if I call him Kansas from now. I don't know why I'm doing that today. We're going to send Benton out to the right. You've been hypnotized by Julie. <laughs> and Smargesso is the quarterback. Jason. Smargesso. Good ball fall. Delay a game. Five yards. Repeat. Quarter of the quarterback. He's a junior out of New Wilmington, Pennsylvania. He's been the starter for... Gerald Benton wide to the left side. Coleman comes right. He's underneath running. Here's the snap. Handoff is to Gallon, and Gallon comes out from the 15 out near the 20. That's been their best gain of the day. By the way, Dwayne Davis is back in at the strong safety position. Mitch, Mitch running is wide to the right. Inside of him is Andre Coleman. Benton to the left. 
fake to Gallon. The pass, it's caught, and Kansas State's going to get. Nope, they don't. The ball is out of bounds, so it will not be a first down. Look at how the team takes. Early in the second period, Buffs lead 13 to nothing. Three receivers out. Gallon behind Smargesso. A half yard to go. Chad Brown's got him. He passes to Gallon, and Hudson has it. Chad Brown came popping through on. Continues to hone his field goal kicking skills. Uh, they'd keep a roster spot for two kickers. Again, Kansas State starts at the 20-yard line. Here's Smargesso passing in a hurry. It's caught out by uh, Benton. Seven-yard pickup for the Wildcats. Colorado's been given them, and that is the quick passes. And here's the handoff and a run out over the 35, first down to the 36-yard line, and making the tackle on the play. And cheering that, they knew it was the first first down. K-State's band is here today, too. And here's a hand of uh, the snap back to Smargesso, who didn't appear to be expecting it. Flags go down, all 42 unassisted. The illegal motion, offense. They discussed that one a lot. Kerry Hicks right now has come into the Buff lineup, replacement. Buffs declined the penalty at the 35. Congratulations. That's, Thank you. That's something. Appreciate that. Rod Schiller is the running back. Second down, 12. Here's the pitch to Schiller. They're going to go on the end around. They almost got him, and yeah, Coleman is going to be out of bounds at the 30-yard line. It all loses five yards. But they he almost grabbed him by the uh, half. It's third down and 18. Buffs have their six-man defense in. Back, and the pass comes out by Smargesso to Schiller, who takes it to the 35-yard line. There he's brought down by Beaker. This is their eighth possession, Kent, and every one of them have started at the Cliff Bend, their own 36. Two receivers to the left side. Here Smargesso gives to Gallon. He cuts back to the middle, and he goes right into the hands of the waiting Buffalo, Leonard Renfro. Gallon, who is an outstanding running back, carries at 400. But he hasn't done anything today. Second down, still 10 from the 20-yard line. Smargesso is back. Here is the pass coming off to the right side. Benton's got it, but he only gets to the 21. He caught the ball at the 20, and the Buffs converged on him. By Bradford, because uh, as Benton was up about the 20, the right with running. And here's the draw play, and Renfro slices in to drop Gallon for a loss at the 20-yard line. Leonard threw it really to get rid of it. Yeah, it was a blitz coming off the left side and nobody picked up. But Colorado with one of the worst turnover ratios in the country turns it over for the first time. Here's a quick pass by Smargesso who's being rushed by Wolf in this game with a minus 11. And it's a maybe 13 or 14 yards on the one that turned into the soccer play earlier. Quarterbacks just haven't had the time. This time Smargesso has some time and he passes the ball too high to J.J. Smith coming out of the backfield. The beat down in 20. Third down in 10 from just inside. Comes wide to the right side with Andre Coleman. Back goes Smargesso. He's got some time, but he throws a terrible wobbly pass. It's incomplete up at the 47-yard line. Ball looked like it slipped on the 20-yard line nine times, and the other time they started from their 19. That was after the pass with one. K-State has not been over their own 36-yard line. Smargesso goes back. Here's Renfro. Screen pass. Here it comes over the 25, over the 30-yard line, and Schiller takes it out close to the 37-yard line, and that is their furthest penetration upfield, but they will not be out as the chains were set by Jamie Mendez, who cut up half comes to a close. It's Colorado 30 and Kansas State nothing at halftime here in Boulder. Stay tuned for Tim Smile at the CU Sports Desk. He'll bring you up to date on all of the other action. Colorado's defense is the 37-yard line. 56 yards on the punt and a return of about nine yards. Underneath Randolph. K-State at the 32-yard line. If they gain five yards, they match their biggest push up field. Smargesso starts the second half at quarterback. Garber played the first period and Smargesso the second. Smargesso goes back, fading straight back. Here's the pressure. Diet sacks him back at the 22-yard line. That's back in familiar territory. 
I'm sorry, Leonard Hayes even got an interception to go along with what he's what damage he's been doing to the Kansas State. Running goes wide to the left side. Benton and Coleman to the right. Quick handoff comes up the middle to the 25 yard line, a gain of two yards. Diet made the stop on J.J. Smith. Now well, they're going to, Ralphie will be free of her. Right. Yeah. Third down and 18 from the 25 yard line. Back, and here comes the pressure. Chad Brown and Smargesso meet down around the 11 yard line. And also Ronnie Wolfhawk was there. Get a stat. You've got guys on the kickoff team that we, you know, Kansas State's furthest penetration upfield has been there 37. Here's the handoff uh, coming into the middle of the line to Schiller. And he's off a block to make the tackle. Second down, eight to go. Ball at the 24-yard line. Back, here comes Renfro after Smart Gesso. He gets him, so does Brown. Boy, I'm telling you, what a game Leonard Renfro is having today. That's got to be, has done absolutely nothing against the Buffalo defense. Minus 31. Minus 31. And sack yardage does come off the rushing in college football. Three receivers go left for the Cats. Going back, going back, Smargesso. There's his pass. Figures goes up for it in front of Coleman and sails over both of their heads. In Defensive State, that was a 38-yard punt. And this is the Colorado Football Network. In four minutes from my mark. Okay. Mark. Meanwhile, Kansas State has its best field position to start a drive, and here's the handoff coming to Leon Edwards, and he's pushed back, but he will get forward progress out to the 39-yard line. Chad Brown, 37-yard line. They start the drive at the 37, and that way we may see some. Uh, yeah, a lot of some bus uh, getting action in this second one. unit people in there right now. Second down, eight yards to go. Smargesso changes the play as he looks at the defense. And he's going to fade straight back. Here comes the blindside pressure. He gets the pass away. It's incomplete. He was throwing downfield for Jerry. And the pressure was coming from the right side and over Missouri in the third period. Kansas State, or rather Kansas, leading Oklahoma by 10 in the third period. Backpedaling is Smargesso. And here comes the pass. Broke it up incomplete. Intended for Benton and deflected by Chad Brown. <laughs> now has risen to 28 as Coy Dett. Wildcats to the line of scrimmage. Margesso fading back. He can't find a receiver open. He's going to try to run, but he lofts the pass way over the top of Tyson Schweiger. Schweiger was trying to get him the ball and overthrew. It'll be second down and 10. Other things to do. Back goes Margesso. He's going to let it go long, and it is incomplete at the 43-yard arrow, Louisiana. He's from James Errett High School, same high school. I think the safest thing to do is stop by Hardy's and ask him about it. Third down, back goes Smargesso. Here comes the pressure, and there is the sack. And it's by Greg Jones. Has all those, you know, what is their, what is their record? They... Uh, First down and 10 for Kansas State. Again, the furthest upfield that the Wildcats have been is the 39-yard line. Back goes Smargesso. Here comes the pressure. They're chasing him. He dumps the ball off. Got to throw the flag. Absolutely. And Sam Rogers was the man leading the charge back to the two-yard line. He slammed. So there, he could have thrown it either way, as a matter of fact. Loss of down. Half the distance. The second down. <laughs> the Bucks. Here's Margesso. Hands it off, and J.J. Smith just hits to the middle. Gets it out to the two-yard line. Colorado's defense upfield has been their own 39-yard line. Stop was running. Goes wide right. He's the only wide receiver. Two men in the backfield now for Margesso. Third down from the two. It's going to be a quick kick, and there is a flag down. The quick kick out of the end zone is going to carry across the 50 and out of bounds down at the Colorado 43-yard line. Quick kick set by Byron White <laughs> of 159 yards. Six. KSU again Whoa. from the 20-yard line. 
And back goes. Their pass is intercepted. The pass intercepted by John Katosic. Oh, 28 yards, three plays, 51 seconds on the drive for Colorado. Ball at the 20-yard line, first and 10. Boy, we said that before. Ball at the 20-yard line. <laughs> Draw play. And running the ball to the left side, getting out to the 22-yard line is Leon Edwards. More out of Sherman, Texas. When's the last time you saw that? And Kansas State still has only two first downs. Second down and seven. Schiller swings to the outside, vaults over a man, and is dumped as he gets to the 30-yard line. Is the 39-yard line. There right now. Players getting playing time. Dalton Simmons. This is Kansas State's 19th possession of the game. Smargesso gives it off and getting out to the 32-yard line, Rod Schiller. Minutes. Lots of the defense has just totally controlled the game. Here's Margesso again, hands it off, and uh, Schiller gets to the right side, gets it over the 32 near the 33, stopped by Katosic. Exception by C.J. Masters. Their offense has not moved the ball past the Wildcat 33 right now, third down and seven. Smargesso backs up, he passes out to the side, incomplete, intended for Mitch running. 